And we're here with the UIKO. Uh, you're showing off the DuraTouch technology. And uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Binay Bajaj, and I run business development and marketing at UIKO, where we build next generation touch sensing technology for wearable and durable products. So, right we, here, you have a development kit. So, uh, we have a development this? kit. This is a band size, watch size development kit uh, based on our small devices. This goes into watches and bands, and I'm showing some of the watches here. So, so this is this band, which is the Garmin band. The algorithm can run on that part? So our algorithm is actually running on the silicon here, which is actually connected to the sensor, and then the silicon actually then sends data to the host over an I2C interface. What kind of uh, silicon do you have there? What is a small chip? It's a small chip. It's one of our uh, DT101 uh, chip. We have uh, four different products, DT101, 201, 401 and 301 and we use we are showing here many different products so if you see um, we have watch this is a Garmin band, uh, watch forerunner watch and this is a mass production this is on the market this is this. in mass production this is a hiking band mass production with a Chinese company called hiking yeah we have a uh, Garmin edge which is a three inch screen this use used for for bike riders uh, uh, as a navigation so device. You put this you on a bicycle? Yeah, you can actually put it on bicycle. It works with glove. You can actually do navigation on this. You can do pinch, touch, and zoom on the screen. And, and so we, basically on the bicycle, it might it might rain? It might rain. It works with water. It works with glove. We have shown many different demos where you can actually work really well in extreme weather conditions. We also want to show you... So you can, uh, when you on the motorbike, you can actually use with gloves. Yes, you can actually use it with glove and I'll show you here. This is a Garmin chart plotter. Actually, it works really well with thick glove where you can actually also spray water and glove and actually it works with both of them. So I can spray water and there's no false touches as you can see. I can touch the screen without any problem. It's showing. You can also touch the screen with glove and you see no problem. So water How is that and possible? glove. So we do a lot of um, innovation in our sensing technologies, in our firmware algorithms. We also do uh, sensor design very creatively and use the silicon in a way that all these three things when you put together, uh, both uh, glove touch, um, working with water, extreme rain conditions, extreme temperature. We are actually in markets like appliance, medical, off-road, uh, agriculture market. We are in um, gas uh, pump uh, outside. We are doing many different things which are outdoorsy type of application. So but what I'm there, it says all the markets you have, uh, off-highway, appliance, automotive, all this stuff. And uh, so basically, it's a software solution. It's software-based solution. A lot of the innovation is in the firmware algorithms. But I would say that it's a complete solution where we do a lot of work in the firmware as well as in the sensor design, as well as how we utilize the silicon itself. So what's what's over here? So here we're showing a 4.3-inch dev kit along yeah. with some of the integrated displays, AMOLED and PMOLED displays. So this is AMOLED 1.45-inch display. This is actually a round display. These are all integrated. Touch is actually integrated into the display here. Here we are showing a PMOLED display. This is a 0.96 inch. What is PMOLED? PMOLED is actually passive matrix OLED. So it's actually used on some of these bands. Um, the display is definitely uh, for very everyday consumer devices. L lower power? Lower power on bands, small screen, things like this Garmin band actually it could uh, it could also be used in something like yeah, this. To our customers. <laughs> and this is a very popular devices all these okay. right? So consumers are quite happy? Consumers are very excited because now uh, bands and watches have become everyday use as you've seen. But the wearable technologies is no longer about just bands and watches. They're coming in many different uh, form factors, many different uh, applications, so things like eyewear, things like body, uh, smart clothing, um, head mount displays, cameras, etc. So, uh, do you have more and more con connections uh, here in the Silicon Valley? We more are and more companies are considering this? We are actually seeing a lot of excitement for our technology. Even at ID Tech here, the excitement has been very, very high. We have collected, we met with many companies, and we are just really, really busy here at UICO. How about the smartphones? So smartphones, we are uh, right now not playing because it's a very commoditized space. Uh, we definitely are thinking that we should play first in wearable, which is like an upcoming market. We have really established ourselves in the durable markets. Uh, one thing I also would like to show you is our 
surface um, like that. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> right there. So one of the things that we are showing here is touch that is working with uh, leather, touch that can work with uh, fabric. And this is very good, good, useful because um, as you do wearable devices, there are going to be devices where you actually are going to be body worn and your yeah. device could be under the fabric, whether it's leather or fabric or anything. What we're showing here is not only I can work touch through fabric, but I can actually touch through thick acrylic material. Here I'm showing I can do touch through leather. So I can actually touching through leather, um, where I'm showing different button touch points. Here I'm touching through wood. And these are very critical for not only wearable, but also for automotive application, where my touch could be behind the steering under leather or in, under the car seats or in any fancy designs which consist of wood. Are you very, talking very important. here about uh, uh, touching e-textiles? Yes. Is this for e-textile business? Yes, it could be for any wearable fabric, non-conductive fabric material. So touching body your shirt? Touching, yes, absolutely. This is for there? Yes. And this, this is for amazing architecture maybe? Yes. So suddenly you start touching the furniture? Yes, you can, absolutely, yeah. And if you have a touching material, uh, we can work through wood furniture uh, and it, the touch works there too. And cons uh, users might be quite surprised to see those kind of products come out. Users are very surprised. Today we had one lady who actually makes rugs and she was so excited she wanted to actually put um, rugs where children play and the rugs which are interactive for kids. And then she said that, I actually like this, can you actually make touch work through 0.5 millimeter fabric? And I said, this is actually 0.5 millimeter fabric. And she said, I would like to use your technology uh, in fabric, in rugs, where it's an interactive fabric or rug and kids can play. So you can just speed up and uh, output more and more of your technology everywhere. That's right, yes. That's our goal. We want, to, we want touch to be everywhere. Touch is actually getting everywhere. Not just smartphones, wearables, but also on Windows screens, on just everyday thing at, in your house that we use today. Right.